Okay, I figured I'd make a video for y'all since you were asking me about my lashes. And so it's Friday. Yeah, today's Friday. So I'd done my lashes on Sunday and I decided I wanted to redo them today because I used some lashes that I didn't, I don't love these. Um, but anyways, neither here nor there. So I actually just completely washed my face today in the shower. Um, and so yeah, here's my naked face and my cheeks have gotten so red over the years, but, um, so I was actually trying to wash off the lashes because usually really warm water will absolutely make them fall off. So y'all were asking if I wet them. Normally I wash around my face. I have one of those makeup cloths that take your makeup off and I just am really careful when I wash my face and try not to get them wet when I'm trying to keep them on. But I wasn't super, super cautious this time because um, I knew I was probably gonna be redoing them uh, relatively soon. But even with not being as cautious with them this week, as you can see, my right eye um, is still on. Like there's one little piece that fell off, I think over here on the edge, but I'm not going to worry about that. So I'm going to use the lashes again that I don't like and just match up this eye because I figured, well, if these are still on rather than taking them off completely, I'll just um, do this eye and then I can kind of show y'all what I do. So this, and I've tried a few different things and I did like, you know, not a ton of research, but a little bit of research between YouTube videos and um, the Facebook group that I'm in. This kiss, and then I can't hardly see anything. So this is where this really becomes interesting. Uh, kiss Falscara Remover. This takes off the glue really well. Uh, and I can try to remember to send you links of everything, but I just get most everything on Amazon except for... And then I have like my little thing of tools here and I've tried all different stuff. This is actually for lashes, which I'm supposed to use just to keep my natural lashes healthy, but I'm not very good about that. Uh, the things that I consistently use are these three and these are the most expensive things that I get. So this is the flutter habit glue and I do the clear. I've done the clear and the black and I like the clear better overall, I think so. This just the from Flutter Habit and they have an app and I just have this on automatic, um, whatchamacallit. And then I also use this one, Lashify, and they're so Lashify and Flutter Habit are kind of competitors and they both have the higher end lashes and everything. I've never tried Lashify lashes, uh, and then the Lashify, it's called Glass Crystal. And this is kind of like a sealant, so it's supposed to help the lashes dry faster. So those are the three things that I use when I do my lashes. And then the tools, this little thingy here, and you can find those anywhere. You can find it at Walmart, you can find it at, you can even find some at the dollar store. I don't know how good they are. The problem that I run into is they it does get sticky on the inside from the glue, and so then, when you're trying to pick up your lashes, it sticks to it and that's a pain. And even like as I've tried to clean it, it seems that it ends up sticky. So sometimes I'll use the, the sealant stuff and put it on there and that seems to um, help it not be so sticky with the lashes. So we'll see. And then um, sometimes I just use tweezers. So I have a, a set of tweezers in here that I use and I, this is one of my cheaper pairs of tweezers. Actually, I think it is a tweezer man, but um, I use these because I don't care if I ruin them with the glue and I don't use these for my um, eyebrows. So those are probably the tools that I consistently use. And then I have a pretty nice magnifying mirror with a light on it that I use because I can't see anymore. So these are one of the sets of lashes and it doesn't have a brand or anything on it. So, oh, but... You can, it's empty. These are the ones that I'm going to use today. And these are 17 millimeters. The, why I don't like these, they're really, and one of the little tricks is when you're pulling the lashes out, you have to be careful because you, they can break. So let's see. So what I do is I just pull a bunch out and I kind of set them aside so you can see, oh, it was sticking and it let go, but and right now I'm just setting them on. I have a makeup palette here that 
uh, I'll try to, so I'm going to take out like five or six and this whole thing I think was nine or $10. And so I honestly, I don't worry about ruining a couple or wasting a couple. Um, so I just, yep. See, I didn't get it that time. It's kind of hard to do when I can't see everything. Anyways, I think you get the idea. So it's just pulling these out. Um, and I'm never as gentle as what I was right there. So, uh, and I'll show you why I'm doing this here in a second. So I think originally on with these, I had like five on each eye, five or six, I can't remember. And with the ones I normally use, I usually only do um, three or four, I think. And then I can show you the Flutter Habit ones. They are really pretty. They're just a pain because you have to take off the glue and sometimes you have to trim the edges. So I was actually thinking about doing those today because I'm off. And next time I do them, I can video if y'all want me to. Okay, so I'm going to turn the camera around and show you. Okay, hopefully this is still recording because somebody from work is calling me and I'll call her back. Okay, it still is. Um, so you can see I just threw them on here for right now. Sometimes I'm a lot better about this. Uh, so then what I'm going to do is, oh, and I'll sometimes have to clean stuff. I'll have a little thing of alcohol. And I just got these from the dollar store. And I'll have alcohol to clean stuff or to uh, like disinfect areas. And of course, like right now, I don't have, I'm still like in cleanup mode from Christmas. Everything is just a disaster. So normally I'll have Q-tips in here and I'll have um, more of the little cotton pads. But this was going to be just like a fast little I'm going to throw lashes on and then go run a few errands. Uh, but then I thought, well, this will be a good time to just do this little quick video and show y'all. Okay. So now I've got to try and find, so I can, well, let's see. Okay. Um, where'd my glue go? And then I do this all the time. I'll be my, where is my stuff? Okay. So the glue Okay, I dropped my little eyelash tweezer thingies and I couldn't get them. I'm in the our back room, which used to be Derek's TV room, which is now like my craft room and it is a disaster right now. Um, okay, so I'm taking the lid off the glue with my mouth so I can record and I use so many different surfaces for this because the glue will stay on there. But I try and just do a little bit of glue at a time. And right now I'm going to use the tweezers to pick up the lashes because I don't want them to stick to hold. The problem with see how I took them off so I wasn't cautious in taking them off. You can't really tell in this, but the lash is kind of, it's kind of, crooked and cattywonka so maybe we don't want to use that one so I'm gonna grab a different one and I'm gonna put glue on okay so then what's different about this is remember these are gonna go underneath my lashes so I'm putting the glue on the top part of the lash and then I just set it there one thing that I've learned with this glue is it takes I've never really timed. I mean, I guess this might be a good way to time it. Um, it takes a bit for it to get tacky. And if you don't let it get tacky, it's a pain to put them on because then they just move. Whereas once they're a little bit tacky, they will, uh, they'll adhere better. And this was not thought through well because I need more lashes. I didn't pull out as many as I thought I did because one of them broke. So I'm going to transfer these over to this one. See, I've done this one a lot. All those little black marks are 
glue. And that one I just did, I don't feel like I have enough glue on it, but I think that lash broke in half because that one, see it's skinnier than that one. So I think I broke it in half. So okay, I'm gonna put my phone down for a second and grab some more lashes. Okay, and I pulled out like four more clusters. I probably won't use them all, but I've already lost one that I pulled out. And hopefully, and because I cleaned the surface, so I'm gonna use it. And then I touched the glue, so I lost the glue I already had there. So I'm putting some more glue. And I think this little tube maybe is $30. I can't remember for sure. So I try to be somewhat, use it somewhat sparingly, but I tend to end up wasting a bunch probably. Okay. So now I'm okay. So the other thing is I try to keep them in order from where the glue is because the ones that I did first, the glue will be the tackiest. So I don't remember which I did first there, but that's okay. And then, and as I was pulling these lashes out this time, I realized, uh, I think that some of them just are thicker than others because that one looks really thick. And I know I didn't break them apart that much. And these that I just pulled out, I was really careful with. And one of the tricks of this that I, honestly, I really don't know that I have figured out yet is that um, I don't really know the uh, right amount of glue. So like if you look, that one has a lot of glue and that one has very little glue. So this might be good for me just to remember which one stuck better. And then I don't have very much glue left, but I'd already pulled this lash out. so. Just going ahead and trying to use it just to see. Maybe I'll put it on my other eye. Okay, so I'm gonna flip around now and try to adjust this. And then I don't know what angles this is gonna look like and stuff, and if I'm gonna be able to get everything. So let me try to adjust. You're gonna be just watching me as I watch myself. So I'm not really watching the camera, so I don't know what I'll get. I'm trying to. Move everything around. Okay, let's see. Nope, you can't see me. Okay, hopefully I'll be able to see that. And I really do have to like put my glasses on and off sometimes because I can't always see everything. Um, there's a little bit of glue left on that lash. Okay, so then the next thing I do is I have these two things out and I use the Lashify. So this has like a little, hey, hold on. Hey, no, thank you. Go away. Go away. I'm busy. No, go. Go. Ah, Hawkin. He's like, he sees me talking and he wants my attention. Now I don't know if I ruined my angle on my phone. Okay. Uh, so this is like a little mascara wand kind of. And so I'm only going to do 
because this does dry faster. So I only do like the edges. Or, I, or sorry, hold on. I only do a little bit of this at a time. And then sometimes what I'll do is I'll have one of my old wands from when I was getting my extensions done. And I have a bunch of these all around the house and I ordered some on Amazon too. It, I'll actually use this to separate it out because this clumps and the more separated you can have it, the better, but that is tough to do and see it's already drying. So I'm going to grab either the tweezers or right now I'm going to use the tweezers because I don't want to, I don't entirely trust the other. And you want to get so I just hold them by the edge and then I start sometimes I hold my eye sometimes I don't and I'm just putting it underneath and then I'll use the edge to kind of push it up but see now it's pulling it off so I don't think this one has enough glue on it, honestly. So we're gonna try it again. Okay, I got it. So part of it is pushing it up to where that glue kind of attaches to your natural lashes. And this one wasn't a great, because it's crooked. Yep, it's, I think I might have actually let that glue set too long. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go away with that one. I'm gonna grab the one that had a lot of glue on it and try that one. Plus, this one was uh, thicker and fluffier, so it's the one I wanted on the edge anyway. And then what I kind of did there is I kind of like blinked my eye a tiny bit to kind of get it to grab. And then I'm pushing it up further. I don't know what you can see in the video. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of try and get these going before the glue dries and then I'll show you a little bit more, but you can kind of see. So every once in a while, I feel like I can do a really good job of blinking my eye closed a little bit to get it to attach. And then I have a little bit of glue left from the one that had a lot of glue that came that is still on the plastic thing. So I added a little more glue because I do think a couple of those, I didn't have enough glue. And one of the the things with this is you can't you can't get it too close to your uh, eye line or water line or whatever it's called or it then it irritates you'll feel it like itchy or pokey oh I want that one to work oh I forgot to put some other glue okay so I'm gonna have to use some more glue because I didn't put enough glue on those. Okay. Um, it's weird. I've never really, I don't feel like I've ever not used enough glue. So I don't know if I was just trying to be more conservative with it because I'm showing y'all or what the heck I did. The other thing is these are not dry. So what I'm doing, I'm just doing the glue again. Oh, these dogs. So I'm just putting more glue on these other little three that I have. And again, right now, I'm not as concerned about trying to make these last for a few, for a, a full week. I just 